Hello everyone, welcome to my channel here with me Captain Sunfish. So today I'm going to answer a question that most of you gave me. So here it is. The first one is how to remove hot display and handlebar panel. And second, custom fuse. Third, laptop specs. And last one is in-game settings and NVIDIA settings so most of you are still confused about how to remove this hot panel on the cockpit or outside the co cockpit so this was easy the first step you need to do is go to settings and assistant option and you can go to user experience and you need to turn this instrument app up display case cam to off and then instrument heads up display cockpit cam turn it to off also by the way uh, we just talking about this assistance option and let me show you my assistant option settings so here it is. Let me serve. Set it to off. You will. So I'll go fast and you can copy in mine. Okay. You can pause the video. Okay, it's already done. Application. I set it to hard. All of this I set to hard. But for user experience, I turn off the heads up display and on the cockpit or chase camera. So, okay, guys. Now we're gonna discuss about how to remove the uh, handlebar like this. And. The first thing you need to do is uh, go to the website called badsim.to So I'll uh, give the link on the description of this video And you, uh, the first thing you need to do is just download the uh, folder inside and move it to community file Okay, so how to make the handlebar visible? You just move your uh, mouse cursor to the top of your screen and it will automatically appear. It, it helps you when you uh, record your flight and you don't want people to see this. Okay, so we move to the next topic is custom fuse. Like this. Okay. So most of you ask me how to uh, do this custom setting, uh, sorry, custom fuse. So the first thing you need to do is go to flightsim.to also, like this, let me show you. Uh, I also drop the link on the description. So custom fuse for almost every airplane. You just need to download the file here and if you download the file it will directly go to uh, your file explorer download yeah okay now i will present the window capture of my file explorer So okay, here, the first thing you need to do is open the file here, okay, open the file, let me show you, 
wait okay open the file here and you need to move the file to the community file eh sorry not 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 to the community file but you need to uh, choose what airplane you want for example uh Boeing 737 here you just copy the camera file here select a copy to report of course or control Z control C you can do that on your keyboard and then go to uh, users and then your folder name app data roaming microsoft flight simulator and then sim objects you can go to airplane and choose the aircraft so right here boeing 737 you just uh, you just need to copy the folder and replace the default one so after that you can uh, use the custom view here but you need to restart your sim first to avoid crash okay okay it's done and now oh yeah I forgot guys that uh, for Phoenix it does not include on that file so for Phoenix I use this uh, add-ons so I'll I'll drop it also on the description okay now let me discuss about my sim settings so for the graphic settings I use here is uh, high okay set it to high end the render scaling is 100 and I drop this to 50 my laptop can handle 100 but when live stream sometime it's gonna uh, make my FPS drop off screen terrain pre-catching I turn it to ultra and volumetric cloud I set it to ultra also and the glass cockpit refresh rate set it to low lens flare to off lens correction to off also motion blur to off and then depth of field set it to off bloom off also so here are my settings apply and save it and i'll show you guys my laptop specs so my laptop specs is rtx 3060 uh, 6 gigabyte vram laptop gpu and my cpu is ryzen 7 gen 5 at 100h mobile chipset and my ram is 32 gigabyte EDF4 uh, 3200 and my story is 512 gigabyte okay so the last thing we discussed today is NVIDIA settings so these settings was recommended by Microsoft Touch Simulator Forum that I found so let me share it to you okay so you need to do is select program that you want to customize here I select Microsoft Cut Simulator and set it to high performance NVIDIA processor 
Okay. So, image sharpening set it to off. And then anisotropic filtering set it to application control. F X A A set it to off. Gamma correction set it to on. Anti-aliasing uh, anti-aliasing mode application control transparency off background of uh, max frame rate set it to off to the gpus set it to all you just tick this uh, box here low latency mode if you have uh, the high you can use high but on mine there is no high uh, option so I just choose off max frame rate I set it to off but it's your own preference open GL rendering GPU set it to NVIDIA GeForce and power management set it to prefer maximum performance texture fi filtering anisotropic set it to off negative LOD yes set it to allow and then the quality, I set it to quality. And texture filtering, three linear option, I set it to on. Threaded optimization, I set it to auto. People buffering off, vertical sync, use the 3D application settings. And PR pre rendered frame one. And then you gonna hit, you should hit apply. and yeah it's done so okay guys so that's all for today by the way i talking with english because uh, many people will need this tutorial and if you have any question you can comment down below and i'll help you guys as much that I can so thank you so much for watching if you find this uh, tutorial was helpful you can subscribe like and you can see my other video thank you so much guys have a good day see you on the next tutorial bye bye